What's happening, everybody? Amp Capo here, Black Adonis Games. Today, you're just going to be working with Amp. And I had a little, just a little um, something I wanted to share with you guys. I'm actually uh, migrating everything over to Unreal Engine 5.1 um, because most of my plugins and everything have now finally arrived to 5.1. Uh, there are definitely some things that uh, I was having issues with, but I've had people ask me about the weapons and how to add their own weapons. And so I'm going to show you guys this while I'm migrating things over. I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how I altered the uh, rifle here. All right. And I'll show you what I'm doing and how I'm able to maintain the animations and things like that for my uh, weapons that are not using the same skeleton, okay? You could also just remake the animations, which I may do later down the line anyway. Just go ahead and remake the animations for the new weapons. But here we go, guys. We're in here. Um, so first of all, what I want to do is I want to go to the rifle, okay? And the folder you want to be in, if you're new to this, uh, the way mine is set up here is you want to be in your plugins folder. So make sure you enable your plugin so you could see. And then you want to be, let me go ahead and I could enlarge this. And then you want to be in your shooter core content. There's a folder called weapons and then just click on your rifle. Okay. So these are going to be all the assets. And when I do do uh, the video on uh, creating melee weapons and other things, this is going to be your primary focus, literally to create any weapon in Lyra. I literally just copy all of these files to a new folder and I'll show you guys all that stuff. But these are the files that you're going to want to duplicate and then just rename them all to your new weapon and then adjust everything inside of them accordingly. So. Um, first, what we're going to do just to reskin, first thing we're going to want to do is the actual rifle. So this is B rifle. So we're going to open this up. All right. And then inside of B rifle, you got your rifle mesh. Okay. All right. <clears throat> and if you've paid it, uh, gone into the uh, properties of this weapon before, you'll notice that there is a weapon mesh here. Okay, so what most people are attempting to do is take their skeletal mesh. I mean, um, yeah, their skeletal mesh, I should say, and they're placing it here. And then, you know, of course, the animation is not going to work. You're going to get an error. So you have to take the animation off and then you got the weapon shooting, but no animation. So this is the very easy way to uh, set up your weapons. Okay, first, what you want to do is go here, find this reference. And what we're going to do is we're going to duplicate this okay then you don't have to rename it or anything you can leave it as another skeletal mesh all right and compile that and then we're going to go and we're going to take this mesh and we're going to pick our rifle mesh so mine is a sci-fi rifle so i'll just type in rifle and here it is all right so here's the mesh all right and as you can see it is basically the same direction but there's a little bit of a difference. Number one, we are not going to get any animation on this weapon because there's no anim blueprint and this does not share the same skeleton as the rifle does. If we go here to the rifle and I'll just show you for demonstration purposes here. While, and I'm trying to work guys, but I just wanted to really uh, give you guys a couple gems while I'm working. All right. So here you go. If we click on the skeleton here, you'll see that this rifle has all kinds of skeleton parts and if we go to our sci-fi rifle which is here and we click on this you're going to click on the skeleton which it does have one but everything's named different and if you look here you know nothing's going to coincide with the other skeleton they're like completely different so this is what you can do as a fix go to your rifle what you want to do is take your new rifle and you want to pick the parent socket. So you want to make sure it's always attached. And if you just duplicated this, like I showed you, it should attach it automatically. Click here and then just attach at the root. Okay. Now you notice my weapon went off by 90 degrees. Uh, not a big deal. All right. We could take and uh, go here and just rotate the weapon back 90 degrees. All right. 
Now, next thing you want to do, your weapon may be different in size. So you definitely want to make sure that you pull your weapons back far enough. And I, I usually break this down to a scale of one because this is real fine uh, work here. Let's compile that right quick. And then you'll see you can move that back so that you can line these weapons up and have them like right on top of each other so that you can make sure that the fingers are where the fingers are supposed to be on the triggers and things like that. So if your weapons are a little different in size, you just want to move them until they fit. And you, and you can see it here. See, there's a trigger on the rifle. And you just want to move those things to be in a similar position. Um, if you want need to go finer than one, you can just turn this off and then you can just kind of slide it around how you need to. Um, for me, I think that's about it. I want to maybe bring this down a little bit more. But that looks pretty good. It looks like in the hand it'll probably work pretty good about there. And I'm just making sure. It's, yeah, it looks fine. So we can compile that. Now, um, this sci-fi rifle uh, doesn't have a barrel on it. It has the barrel separate. So I'm going to go ahead and add that too. Um, see, I think they just call it a silencer or something on here, but let's go ahead and I'm going to just add a skeletal mesh component and I will call this barrel because here it's not really going to be, I'm not going to be using it as a silencer. I'm going to be using it as a barrel. I'll leave it there for now and I'll just add on to it later. All right, let's go ahead and get on with what we were doing here, guys. So the next thing you want to do is you want to highlight the original weapon and you want to go to visibility and you want to turn the visibility off and then you want to go to hidden in the game. Which just type HID hidden in game and then you want to highlight that as well. So now when you pick when you're holding this weapon, you should only see this. I will uh, find the tip that goes on here. There is a tip that can be put on this gun to make it longer like the other rifle. And that's how I have it in my project. So I'll just have to look in that project and look at exactly how I did it. Anyway, guys, that'll be the weapon. All right, let's go ahead now. And we don't need any more of these things open. And we're going to go back into the folder with the weapon in it. And the next thing you want to do is the weapon pickup data. All right. And you're going to see here that there's a skeletal mesh rifle. We're going to basically want to go find our other rifle. So let's just type rifle. All right. And then here's my sci-fi weapon. So I can replace it with that rifle. So you just want to replace this with a static mesh because this is what you need for this uh, section is a static mesh. All right. And this is where also you could set everything like offsets for the weapon, the mesh scale, everything for the weapon. And then what I like to do is you'll see that it automatically goes to the next, which here is ID rifle. I just click on the next one and then open it. All right. And then you're going to see here appearance ID rifle. So you want to put your mesh in here as well. All right. And just put your mesh in and replace it. All right. These are your recticles. So if you want to edit those, and that's why I'm saying every time you go and you open a, one of these blueprints, it's kind of neat that it automatically will kind of have a lead into the next uh, things here. So you can set up your own, like if you want to, change the rectangle you want to change the color or anything like that you can double click on this and you can go in and edit the widget and then the ammo counter as well so those are what these are here and you can edit those i'm not going to edit those i'm going to go ahead and move on now that we have wid rifle okay and this is just pointing to the actors to spawn and things like that. So we edited B rifle ability set. We're not gonna mess with that in this for now. And what else do we need to edit? We got the weapon pickup data, which is good. I think that should be everything. I believe so. 
We did the ID, we got the B instance, and this is just for the animations that the character is going to use for the rifle. And then these are the animation layers for the rifle. And I'm going to get more into these things because this is how you're going to, you're going to use this information to design like different weapons and as well as melee. And I'll go over how to do that in another, another time. Cause I will be doing that soon. All right. So the next thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and we should be able to get out of this now. And you should see, you see the uh, weapon pickup here. There should be new weapon pickup data. So we need to get that. That's why here you can see that the rifle still not the right, uh, doesn't have the right look. So in the spawner, you should have what you're spawning and that should be under weapon pickup. And this is weapon pickup data rifle, which should be this. And as you can see, it hasn't updated. So I'm just going to get off of it, go to revolver and then go back to rifle. Okay. And then you should see it update. All right. So now that's updated. You can see it's the new uh, rifle and we could play from here right quick. Test this. All right, here we go. Took us a little sweet time. It's going to play crappy. You see it's preparing textures and everything. Uh, but we're just going to let it do what it do. Okay, we got the character here. All right. And like I said, it's going to play a little crappy right now, guys. But you can see I did the pistol already. So, And you can see it moves even though that pistol. And I'm sorry it's glitchy, guys. We're in the engine. And like I said, it's a fresh load. So it's going to play crappy. Oh, wow. This guy's coming out over here already. I did get the magic added. Are coming fast, dude. I just want to check my rifle right quick. There we go. So you guys can see we got the rifle. And it looks pretty good. I might be able to move it a little bit. But yeah, I got that moved over. And the weapon looks good. I probably gotta adjust. Not really. It's pretty good. Wow, those guys are showing up. Alright. So there we go. Yeah, that looks really good. All right. So that looks good. That looks pretty good, guys. All right. So that's it. So if that's something that you've been trying to figure out how to reskin the weapons, use your own uh, meshes. Oh, she hit me with the melee. All right, guys, that's it. Like, subscribe, tell a friend, man. Amp Capo, Black Adonis Games.